ओम ज्ञान तिमिरंद से ज्ञान शलाकया चक्षुरुम लिता ये नस्म श्री गुरव नम गुरव गौरीचंद्राय राधिकाय सदाल कृष्णा कृष्ण भक्ताय तदभक्ताय नमो नम वाछकलपतरुभ्य कृपा सिंधुभ्य पतितानाभ्यो वैष्णेभ्यो नमो नम संसार दुख जलद से पति काम क्रोधाद नक्रमक्रकबली दुर्वासन से निगृत से निराशय से चेतन्यचंद्रम दे पदावल आनंदलीलामय विग्रहाय हिमा दिव्य छवि सुंदराय तस्म महाप्रेमरसप्रदा चैतन्यचंद्राय नमो नमस्ते राधा चिंता निवेशन यलोपिता श्रीकृष्णचरण वंदे राधालिंगित विग्रह भक्त विहीनाय अपराध लक्ष्य क्षिप्त कामतरंग मध्य कृपा मयी तम शरण प्रपन्न वृंदे नमस्ते चरणारविंद श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्री अद्वैत गाधर शिवा सदी गौरभक्त वृंद बोलो हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 वन वन टाइम हरे हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा Welcome back. Now it is your island. This is mine. I love mine. Nice. Finally, I breathing after so many months. <laughs> so, so, Jiva Prabhu asks me to speak. The tricks of Krishna. <laughs> It's a wonderful topic. The tricks of Krishna because Krishna is tricky, right? The word used for Krishna is kaut kautaki. Kautaki means he's very tricky. He's always tricky. but with radharani he gets very tricky but he has no say there he always get defeated <laughs> that is his issue <laughs> he never been over radharani he always get defeated there no matter how much trick he plays this is about meditation we should meditate on this while we chant hare krishna maha mantra in our daily practices of chanting hare krishna hare krishna not hare krishna because many devotees they just chant hari gijja hari gijja 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 hari hari <laughs> that's not proper pronunciation or they chant hare kash hare kash 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 hare hare <laughs> day and night thinking of cash <laughs> so it comes out hare cash hare cash but in the association and uh practicing every day sincerely uttering each and every word with humble mood and sincerity from the heart 
definitely with the mercy of Nam Prabhu, the pastimes of Radha Krishna reflects in the heart of the sadhakas. Because these names are not ordinary. This, these names of Radha Krishna, they descended from the eternal abode of the Lord, Golok Vrindavan. Who brought that? The combined form of Radha Krishna, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. He wants all of us to get access to this divine Mahamantra. He wants us. And that's why he's giving. Hare means Radha Rani. What is the meaning Hare? Sarva Cheta Haraha Krishnasta Chittam Hare Jaso Vidagdi Vistarata Radha Haramata. Krishna steals the mind of everyone or captivates the minds of everyone. But Radharani, she steals the mind of Krishna. And that's why she's Hari. Sarva Cheta Haraha Krishna Chittam Hare Jaso. She is so powerful, she steals the mind of Krishna or attracts the minds of Krishna, mind of Krishna towards her. What is that attraction? By which? What is that strength she has? The strength she has is the strength of love. And strength of love is very powerful. Very powerful. Yeah. That's the topmost strength. With love you can attract, with love you can control. Gurudev used to say even animals. Even the ferocious animals can, can control just with the love. Even a street dog we have in India so many. So many street dogs. How to make friendship with them? Just with love. If we step out from our house there in India, they start barking and at the point of they can come to even bite you. But just for one day, just throw some bread, something and show some love. The dog, the dog start waving tail and becomes your pet. <laughs> just with love. Even great animal like elephant can also be get controlled by love. What is the most important thing in the entire world is just love. People trying to conquer with war. You can't conquer with war. Everything can be conquered easily by love. Showing that love, expressing that love. But this divine love, the love of Sri Radha Krishna, is a lesson to everyone that what is the meaning of pure love. Yeah. Which means to give everything for the pleasure of one's beloved. Radharani, she is doing everything for Krishna. And Krishna, whole soul motive is to just please Radharani. Because tasmin tushte jagat tushtam. If the Lord is pleased, then everyone is pleased. Watering the root of the tree, the whole tree gets nourished. The whole endeavors of Radharani, all the gopis and all the inhabitants of Vrindavan, if they are just to please Krishna. Because if we get pleased, everyone gets pleased. And Krishna is trying all efforts to please Radharani. If she is pleased, not only everyone, even Krishna is also pleased. She is a root cause of all pleasure. She is a pleasure potency. She is embodiment of love. Embodiment of praying. So, it's not just ordinary loving reciprocation of Radha and Krishna. There is a purpose behind this. If both potency and the potent get pleased, then everyone will drive pleasure. So, 
अनवे व्यतिरेक डायरेक्ट इनडायरेक्टली एवरी वन इज सर्विंग कृष्णा श्री भक्त ठाकुर डिस्क्राइबिंग दिस डायरेक्टली दोज आर एसोसिएट दे डायरेक्टली सर्विंग कृष्णा एंड जीवस इन दिस मटेरियल वर्ल्ड दे आर इनडायरेक्टली सर्विंग कृष्णा एवरी वन इज सर्विंग अ मटेरियलिस्टिक इज ऑल्सो सर्विंग कृष्णा हाउ सर्विंग बिकॉज सर्विंग द एक्सटर्नल एनर्जी ऑफ द लॉर्ड माया माया बिलोंग्स टू कृष्णा राइट माया इज नॉट इंडिपेंडेंट Maya, external energy of the Lord. She is not independent. She works under Krishna. So those who are serving Maya, they are also serving Krishna. But their serving is indirect. Understand? Their service is indirect. But indirect service is not so much delicious. Direct service is more. palatable direct service so the associates they are serving directly and what is the process why we are doing this why we practicing hari krishna chanting hari krishna and following ekadashi and all that to come in this domain of serving krishna directly not indirectly everyone is serving krishna the entire universe is serving krishna but indirectly we are serving indirectly but shri guru comes in our life he gives us deities he gives us books shri prabhupad all acharyas they teaching us forget about indirect worship forget about indirect come to direct serving of krishna and you cannot do this unless you come to know the mood of braj why chetana chetamit adi leela krishnadas kaviraj goswami se sakal jagat kare mor vaidhi bhakti vaidhi bhakti te braj bhav pai te nahi shakti everyone they are serving me with vaidhi bhakti vaidhi bhakti means the fear from the rules and regulations of the shastras like bound duty bound i have to do this i have to do this there is no love but there is a formality is a formal relationship that's called vaidhi bhakti and krishna is saying vaidhi bhakti te braj bhav pai te nahi shakti by performing vaidhi bhakti you can't get entrance into the braj pastimes the 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 loving mood of brajvasis you can't <coughs> can't it's impossible for that you have to this is also direct and indirect vaidhi bhakti is indirect and raganuga bhakti is direct krishna is fond of raganuga bhakti in that raganuga bhakti there is no formalities there is no fear of rules and regulations of the shastras it comes spontaneous i really want to love krishna i want to worship krishna i want to do aarti to krishna i want to chant more and more for krishna everything is for krishna out of love uh, informal relationship is more important than formal so there is so much direct and indirect yeah. and that's why that's the reason जीवरे कारणे आसिया प्रपंचे लीला कैले सो विस्तार गोपीनाथ मम निवेदन सुनो श्री भक्त ठाकुर डिस्क्राइब दैट्स द रीजन व्हाई कृष्णा कम्स एंड ही एक्सपेंड हिज पास्ट टाइम्स फॉर अस टू रिमेंबर दोस पास टाइम्स टू स्पीक एंड टू हियर दोस पास टाइम्स श्रवणम कीर्तनम स्मरणम दैट्स व्हाई ही कम्स हियर like uh, if someone ask question are radha krishna they are not happy in golok vrindavan then why they have to come here in this material world which is not good which, which is not nice somebody ask this question why they have to come here 
they have to come here for many reasons but how to make a common person understand this just like here in your island Maui is a tourist place right people come here for enjoying say leisure trip they work in California they work in Texas they work in New York Atlanta all these states but kids get holidays and they come here to enjoy for few days right so what they're not enjoying in their own house when they're staying together in their own home what they're fighting there no there's love but when they come here they do something extra which is not possible in a daily routine this is how I explain to someone that's a leisure trip Krishna's in his home in Golok Vrindavan but why coming here this is his leisure trip to do something different but what is the so if the tourists come here they're getting enjoyment and what the island people how they're getting benefit with that <laughs> profit right they get income yes nowadays not many tourists coming not so many, not so, many. Not so, many. so less income right <laughs> so when Radha Krishna comes here with all associates then income for the jivas what is their income Raghunuga Bhakti so he only comes one day of Brahma other times it's low income it's very quiet no income but when they come immediately income comes so Krishna try his best to apply all tricks to hide from Radharani or to tease Radharani but it's always failure <laughs> it's all failure this one trick he applied in Govardhan hmm. are familiar with the name Chandravali Chandravali she loves Krishna so much so anyone who loves Krishna Krishna wants to reciprocate that's his his duty bound there you worship me in whatever proportion I will reciprocate you accordingly that is promise no matter who however surrender wants to Krishna Gurudev said this year 1992 in Delhi he said what to speak of pure devotees what to speak of associates even a newcomer in Krishna consciousness if we start giving up bad habits and taking Krishna consciousness seriously Krishna feels obliged to even this newcomer oh he's giving up everything for me his heart is big he takes everything so personal <laughs> he takes everything very personal Oh, he's doing those for me. Oh, he giving up all his friends who was smokers and drunk all the time for me. Krishna takes this so to his heart and feel obliged. Guru said, even a newcomer, this much love Krishna has for everyone. He's full of love. He's romantic, right? Romantic means there has to be love. You can't be romantic without love. So it looks like it's always romantic, romantic. But from where this nature, where from where this coming? Because he has so much love. You know? The romantic moods of Krishna is reciprocation of his love. And you do every effort, everything 
to please to whom they love, to, to whom, uh, offering their love to Krishna. He do every efforts. So even Kukja, that hunchbacked, crooked, three-band form from Mathura, Kukja, she also offered her love to Krishna. How you can say no? There's no word no in the dictionary of Krishna. You always say yes. Huh, yes, yes. Always there, yes. Even the sister of Ravan, what was her name? Sukarnaka. She came to Lord Ram, approached him, proposed him. But Ram didn't accept his Rupnaka. Because he was he was doing a particular pastime, total maryada etiquette, and he denied, no Supnaka, I can't accept you because I have Sita with me and I only love my wife Sita. Whereas my brother Lakshman, you can ask him. She went to Lakshman. And Lakshman said, no. If you become my wife, then you have to become a servant like me. So I'm giving you a choice. Hmm. You want to become queen, then you have to marry my brother. And if you marry me, then you have to become maid servant. What do you want to? She said, I want to become queen. Then go to my brother. So she's getting tossed. <laughs> Ram and Lakshman, Ram and Lakshman. What happened then? What happened? Huh? She was upset. She's upset. But what Lakshman did? Cut off her. Cut off nose and ears. <laughs> Made her ugly. It's cruelty. Huh? So cruel. The Lord is so compassionate. He accepts everyone's love. Why he made Surupnaka so ugly? Why? Yes, yes, yes. No one else would ever. Huh? So she would never marry anybody else. She can't marry anyone else. She offered her love to me and I'm the only one who is going to accept her love. Mm. <clears throat> but not in this pastime. Because I'm little bound here as a Ram. Only I'm going to accept her. No one else. Because no one going to accept any any girl with no nose and no ears. Mm -hmm. Ugly form. And therefore Srupanaka came as Kubja. And Krishna accepted Kubja. Kubja saw Krishna, she got so attracted. She expressed her love and Krishna immediately accepted her. Because there is no bound, there is no, he is not bound for anything there. Immediately accepted. Then queens in Dwarka, they express their love to Krishna and Krishna accepts their love. 16,000 princes got arrested by Narkasura, one demon. Krishna released all of them by killing Narkasura. But they expressed their love to Krishna. Krishna accepted everyone. He accepted everyone. So Chandravali is also very beautiful. Very beautiful. If she is expressing her love to Krishna, Krishna is bound to accept that. It's not bound, but he reciprocate with everyone. There's only one place where he can't reciprocate. <laughs> he feels failure there. That's Radha Rani. All other place. He can easily manage to reciprocate. When it comes to Radharani, so difficult, so hard. And that is because Radharani love is so high. Even Krishna has no access to that. No access to that love. It's super high. Imagine. People think Krishna is Supreme Lord. He can do whatever He wants. But when they come to Gaudiya Vaishnava philosophy, then they understand, no, Radharani is supreme. <laughs> <laughs> she is supreme. Bolo Shri Radha Rani Ki. 
So, if Chandravali invites Krishna, Krishna goes there. But then he come, he he delay coming to Radharani, and then she get upset. In the middle of Ras Leela, Krishna disappeared. All the gopis search for Krishna. The search mission started. Finding everywhere, uh, searching everywhere, not getting any clue of Krishna. Where Krishna? Where Krishna? Krishna applied a trick. Krishna applied a trick. So near Govardhan, Petagram, Krishna, he manifested his Narayan form, four arm form, <clears throat> blessings, like this, sitting four arm form. And all the gopis, they were searching Krishna. They came, they coming running, looking here and there, and they saw, oh, Narayan is sitting there. And they paid obeisances to Narayan. It was not Narayan, it was Krishna. Why Krishna showed Narayan form? Because all incarnations are in Krishna. When Krishna comes, then all incarnations are in Krishna. And all incarnations, even though the incarnations of Krishna, but they are servants of Krishna. They are servants of Krishna. And that's why Krishna is not killing any demon. Who killed Putna? Who killed Putna? Huh? Baby Krishna. Baby Krishna. Who killed Shaktasur? Baby. Who killed Trinavrat? <laughs> Who killed Arishtasur? Krishna. Who killed Bakasur? <laughs> Who killed Pralambasur? Huh? <laughs> Again Krishna? No, Balaram. <laughs> That's the trick. trick <laughs> tricky, tricky, tricky. So Krishna killed Keshi, demon, Arishtasur. Krishna is not killing. It looks like he's killing. But Kaviraj Goswami, Krishnadas Kaviraj Goswami, Vishnu Dwara Krishna Kare Asur Sahar. Is that Vishnu inside Krishna who is killing all the demons. Mm -hmm. Killing demons is not the role and function of Krishna. It's mm -hmm. not for that reason. Mm -hmm. You know the president of the country is not there to chase you seeing that you would cross the red light and to give you a ticket. That's not his job. Right? Mm -hmm. He appointed police for that. But who's, <clears throat> police is working under the law and order and law and order ultimately goes to the president means he's the one who uh, declared that if he wants to change any law and order he can do but he's not the one who's giving ticket to each and every individual that's why krishna when he comes when he descends here all incarnations are in him so vishnu inside krishna is the one who kills all the demons Krishna is only there to relish and taste the, the love of Brajvasis, the love of Sakhas, the friends of Krishna, the love of Mother Yashoda, Nanda Baba, and Braj Gopis. So, it's not hard for Krishna to manifest four arms because Narayan is also in Krishna. So, expanded four arms and he's showing to the Gopis. The gopis came to Narayan and they paid obeisances to Narayan. Jai Narayan Bhagwan Ki Jai <laughs> And they say Oh he is not our Krishna We are searching Krishna They have nothing to do with Narayan Narayan is so beautiful Narayan is not less Narayan is Vilas Vigraha The expansion of Krishna But they are not attracted to Narayan hmm. So they Pass Narayan Move forward. Search for Krishna. Whereas the consort of Narayan, Lakshmi, she get attracted to see Krishna. But the gopis, they are not attracted to see Narayan. Then who is superior? 
the gopis are superior so they saw narayan but he he's not our krishna they move forward and then came radharani and her entourage her group when radharani came in front of krishna who is acting as narayan he can't hide himself <laughs> the four arm form of krishna narayan he can't so two arms went inside his stomach <laughs> He came in his original form as Krishna. He can't trick Radha Rani there because he wants. He's so eager to meet Radha Rani. He's so eager. No tricks can apply there. Krishna cannot be tricky there. Radha Rani applies tricks, and Krishna is failure there. But Krishna cannot apply tricks. He. Came back to his Krishna form. So Shri Lakshmi Vijayan Bharati Gosai Maharaj, in this regard, he is ex- giving a very good Siddhanta here. Those gopis who were not under guidance of Radha Rani, because there are two groups of gopis. One who came before Radha Rani, and they only saw Narayan, and they gone. They went away because they were not following the footsteps of Radha Rani. That's why they were not able to see Krishna. They were only able to see Narayan there. Understand? Mm. But that group who was following the footsteps of Radha Rani, and in the group of Radha Rani, when they came to see Krishna, the Krishna who is acting as Narayan cannot do more acting there. They all saw. They all see Krishna there. So Siddhanta is there, Atatva is there. If if we follow the footsteps of Radha Rani, then we can see Krishna. Otherwise, we just get confused and bewildered with other forms. So this proves. This also shows. Are there many gopis in Braj who don't follow Radha Rani? Yes, true. There are many gopis. They don't follow Radha Rani. They have their own style. They have their own love for Krishna. And Sri Rupa Goswami Pad he termed those gopis as Krishna Snehadikya. Yesterday I spoke on this. Krishna Snehadikya means those gopis who only have love for Krishna. They have no love for Radha Rani. This Krishna Snehadikya. There is a section, Hena. Who is leader of that group? Do Chandravali have love for Radha Rani? She has complete love for Krishna, and that's why her rati, her frame is known as Grit Sneha, ghee like. She is like ghee, and her mood is todiya bhav. I am coming to this. But Radha Rani mood is like madhu sneha, like honey, and mood is madhya bhav. Chandravali mood is Krishna, I am yours. But Radha Rani mood is Krishna, you are mine. <laughs> so much possessive, yeah. Hmm. You are mine, and Chandravali mode is I am yours. <laughs> so our acharyas describe Rupa Sami in Ujjwali Mani. He describe Grit Sneha and Madhu Sneha. Grit means ghee like. If you melt ghee, what happens? Ghee become ghee, ghee which is condensed start uh, melting. Means a liquid form. But honey. More and more you heat honey, it get condensed. Hmm. The love of Radha Rani gets more and more condensed. What is that fire? What is that heat? Separation. Hmm. In separation, Chandravali she just melts. Please don't go, Krishna. But 
Radharani loves gets more and more condensed in separation, more thick. And also ghee is, you can't just eat ghee like this. It's not that delicious. Right? <laughs> <laughs> you can pour ghee on your prep or put some spicing, then it's delicious. But just eating a spoon of ghee is like, ah, can't. <laughs> 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 but honey, ah, so sweet. No other ingredients are required to taste honey. So no other support, no other ingredients required. Radharani is alone. She can give all pleasure to Krishna with all moods. She is also possessive and she is also not possessive. She is submissive. Many times she is, oh sorry, not possessive. Radharani, she is submissive but sometimes she is also not submissive. In both cases, she is always surrendered to Krishna. Showing her submission and sometimes not submission. Submission only few, say only 20%. But 80% no submissive mood. <laughs> Always on the top. No submission is there. 80%. 20% yes sometimes. And that too in separation mood. She feels separation and she calls out Krishna, please come, I want to see you, I want to see you. Please, Krishna. Hanath Raman Preshta Kwasi Kwasi Mahabuja Dasyaste Karpanne Me Sakhe Darsham Sinidhim Oh my beloved Krishna, where are you? Please come, show your darshans to me. I am suffering so much. I am your maid servant. I am only here to serve you. Please don't take me wrong. That's only very rare. But Chandravali always in this mood. Hmm. There is not so much, there is not man in Chandravali. Man, sulky mood. Sulky mood, you understand? No? You don't know sulky mood? <laughs> what is sulky mood? How you define that? Aha. Okay, the English translation for sulky mood is pouting counter love due to confidential famili familiarities. <laughs> Very sophisticated. <laughs> pouting counter love for uh, due to confidential familiarities. That's called sulky mood. Understand? <laughs> Chandravali, no sulky mood. If Krishna delays coming to see Chandravali, time is set up. I am going to come this time. And if Krishna delays there, Chandravali is trying to show little but just by seeing Krishna, <laughs> heart melts. Finally, you are here. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay, you delayed. No man there. But if Krishna delays coming to Radharani, big issue. <laughs> It's a big issue there. <laughs> it's not that simple. Krishna said it's easy. Krishna said it was so easy for me to lift Govardhan for seven days, seven nights. But it's so difficult for me to lift the man, the sulky of mood of Radharam. <laughs> it's more heavier than Govardhan heaven. <laughs> That's very heavy. Very serious issues comes there. Mm -hmm. Because then she says, I don't want to see any black person. I don't want to see any black color. What to speak of person? <laughs> in that man, <laughs> upset mood, she just go in a kunja and told Lalita, Vishakha, I don't want to see any black thing. So Lalita is, Lalita Sakhi is the leader of all the Sakhis. She gives command. Everyone, today Radha, she don't want to see any black any black object, any black thing. Mm -hmm. So, cover your hairs. So, they start putting veil and covering their hair. But the, what to do with the... Eyebrows. Huh? Eyebrows. Eyebrows. 
and the eyelashes, they put chandan there. <laughs> they put chandan. Those who are wearing blue and black uh, sadis, dresses, they're all just going and change because Radhani don't want to see any black, any black object. And Krishna folding hands like this. He wants to enter in the kunja to speak to Radhani. Please listen to me. I want to explain to you actually what happened. This happened, that happened. Huh. And who's standing at the door? Lalita. You can't go in. Mm-hmm. And Rupa Manjari. Mm-hmm. No. Why can't I go in? What's wrong? My Radharani. Say, so your Radharani. Today she's allergic to black. <laughs> she don't want to see any black. You see, we covered our eyebrows and eyelashes with chandan. There's nothing in black in the kunja. And you are black from toe to head. <laughs> And not only that, your heart is also black. <laughs> Even your heart is black. Your motives, all black. You cheater, you liar, you debauchee, all that. And Krishna is happy to hear this. He's fond of hearing this. This is how. And the news went to Radharani. Krishna is there. And is begging to come inside. Her heart start melting. <laughs> Her heart start melting. But Lalita Saki, no, maintain this. <laughs> maintain your sulky mood. Let him do whatever he wants. She's Guru of Radharani. Saki Gana Mama Parama Surid Yugal Premier Guru. Hana, Boltena? Saki Gana Mama. Parama Suri Yugala Premera Guru Tadanuga Hai Semi Bodadhara Charana Kalapata Vishabhanu Sutta Charana Sevani Hai Bode Oh, this is my inspiration. I want to become Palya Dasi. Mm. No one wants to become servant or maid servant in this world. Everyone wants to become master. Mm. Yeah? We claim, boldly we claim we want to become master, but I am servant of my own senses. <laughs> <laughs> but I claim I am master. I am servant of my own mind. But I claim I am master. False claim. <laughs> But high aspirations. Vishubhanu Suta Charana Sevan. Hoibo Je Palya Dasi. Oh, when the day will come in my life. Very important. When I'll become a Palya Dasi of Radharani. What is Dasi and what is Palya Dasi? Vishnu. What is the difference? Palya Dasi and Dasi. Palya Dasi. It's like you're mad, right? Hmm? Mad maid servant. Mad maid. A little madness. No. Oh, pugly. Pug- pug- That's pugly. Pugly. <laughs> 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 pugly. That's pugly. This pugly. This pugly. pugly. Yeah. Yeah. Good word. Pugly. <laughs> <laughs> there's one pagal. There's one pugly. <laughs> <laughs> this is Palle Dasi, not Pagli Dasi. <laughs> I am Pagli Dasi. <laughs> what is Palle Dasi? Shama Didi. Uh, no, it's not 100% correct. You are close. Dasi means just maid servant. Palle Dasi means, Palle means just like if I have a example, just if I have a pet at home, cat, dog, whatever. They are totally dependent on me. Whenever I want to feed them, whenever I don't want to feed them, if I want to love them, or if I am ig- neglecting and ignoring them, they are not going to leave me. Pale means, uh, the word pale in Hindi means, in English means nourishing. Totally nourished by Radharani. Like Bhakti Thakur is saying in one song, don't remember that oh 
I want to become a kukur, a dog. Oh Krishna, I want to become a dog. And totally dependent on your remnants. If by lovingly you want to call me, I will come waving my tails. Yeah, waving my tail if you want to love me. But if you want to ignore me, I will still staying at your doorstep and waiting for your love. It's called like, understand the mood? It's called Pale. Totally like 100, 1000 person surrendered like a pet at home. It's called Pale Dasi. Not ordinary Dasi, but Pale Dasi. So, Bhakti Thakur is teaching us <coughs> what should be our prayers while we chant. Vrishabhanu Suta. Oh, the daughter of Vrishabhanu Maharaj Radharani. Vrishabhanu Suta Charana Sevani. Oh, I want to serve the lotus feet of Shri Radharani. How? Hoi Vajay Palya Dasi. By becoming Palya Dasi of Radharani. So in that bhajan, <coughs> there is a stanza where saying, Sakhi Gana Mama Parama Surit Yugala Premira Guru Tad Nugahaye Sebi Bo Radha Charana Kalapataru Sakhi means Lalita Sakhi. She is Guru of Radharani and Krishna. Guru of Divine Couple. She instructs Radharani. She instructs Krishna. And what is the intent of her instructions to Radha and Krishna? To make more and more uh, varieties and flavor in this meeting of Radha and Krishna. Because if meeting takes place easy, quick, then it's not so much... What's a good word for that? Huh? Relishable. Relishable. It's not so much relishable. But when there are obstructions and obstacles in that meeting, and there is excitement, you know, there's so much excitement. Krishna wants to meet Radharani. Radharani wants to meet Krishna, but always some obstacles come. It's creating so much excitement, excitement. And what's happening in those excitement? Love is growing and growing and growing. Radharani is getting stopped by her mother-in-law, Jatila. No, Radha, you can't go. And there's so much desire in her heart. I want to go to Krishna and want to serve Him. Mm -hmm. But she got stopped. Krishna wants to see Radharani. Can't meet. So therefore they... Krishna is in Nandagaon, Radha is in Javad. And in the middle, there is one spot where they come and meet together. It's called Sanket. Sanket means indication. Krishna gives, Krishna indicate Radha Rani with some clue or, you know, indirectly, I'm going to meet you there. Some indication. And Radha Rani also comes there. So, it's not that meeting is not taking place. It does. But it becomes so rare and so precious and not easy going. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that's why we have many characters in the, in the past times. Jatila, Kotila. It looks like negative characters. Stopping Radharani or doubting Radharani, abusing Radharani, all that. But they are to nourish this pastimes, to enhance that meeting mood of Radha and Krishna. They are meant for that. And the circumstances. Circumstances. Circumstances appeared like that. Krishna, Balaram came to Mathura and they entered in the arena of Kamsa. They just killed one elephant called Kuvilla Peed. Very powerful elephant who was trained by Kamsa that if Krishna Balram entered in their Sarina, Kuvilla Peed, you kill them. Krishna Balram entered in the arena and they saw Kuvilla Peed. And he raised his trunk and bowed down like this. 
So Balaram Prabhu thought he is paying obeisances. <laughs> he said, hey Krishna, see, uncle, come sir. He is our <laughs> uncle, right? He is giving us such warm welcome. <laughs> and he put elephants to give us salute, <laughs> to praise us, to like uh, honor us. Krishna said, yes, uncle is very nice. But the elephants start Charging. kicking, charge. Mm. Balram said, but Krishna, this is different kind of honor. <laughs> Krishna said, okay, then I will reciprocate accordingly because that's my promise. <laughs> 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 and he gave a punch. An elephant, Kuvila Pit, so powerful elephant, just got I think he fell. Yeah. No problem. They get strong like this. <laughs> Nothing to worry. <laughs> That's natural. So elephant died. And when Krishna entered the arena of Kamsa, Kamsa saw Krishna. Oh, this young boy? He's the one who killed Putna? He's the one who broke that Shiva bow? He's the one who killed that elephant. He's so soft, tender. Because Krishna was only 10 years, 2 months, and 15 days only. He's the one, he's that powerful. Amazed. But he's my enemy. But in that arena, the Ramanis of Mathra, means the beautiful woman of Mathra, when they saw the beauty of Krishna goes so captivated. Imagine, the same person you take different. Krishna, Kamsa is seeing Krishna as enemy. Wrestlers, they are seeing Krishna as a tough, strong bouncer. <laughs> they are seeing Krishna like that. It's all about your vision, how you see and perceive. But the beautiful woman of Mathura, they perceive Krishna as their, you know, beautiful, like a cupid. Mm -hmm. And they express their love there. This word Krishna, he a very romantic person, right? Gopya stapam kim achred yadamusha rupam lavanya saram asma ordam ananya siddhim dirgvi pivyanto anusvam durapam ikant dham yash shri ashwarasya they said, oh, what austerities the gopis have done. They are drinking that beauty of Krishna. You can't drink the beauty, right? You can adore the beauty with your eyes. But the beauty of Krishna is something which you can drink mm -hmm. through eyes, not with your tongue. They are still drinking that beauty. And what is that beauty? Mm -hmm. The beauty which never fade, never diminish. The beauty which is always growing and growing and growing. They're praising Krishna. They got so attractive to see the beauty of Krishna. You know? Why I'm saying this? This is called Pravas. Means Krishna is in foreign land now. Krishna is away from Vrindavan. And what's happening with the gopis? What's happening with Radharani? Separation. And why this separation is important? To enhance the meeting. This is one separation. Then there is Dur Pravas. Oh, Krishna went further. Dwaraka. Very far from Vrindavan. Mathra is still close. Few miles. How many? From Vrindavan. How much difference between Vrindavan and Mathra? Gurudev said, just two fingers. <laughs> just two fingers away. <laughs> this much only. Mathra is the border. Outskirts of Braj. It's not that far. Gopis could have gone there to see Krishna. No, they don't want to leave Vrindavan. Why? Oh, this is the abode, this is a place where we enact pastimes with Krishna. This totally different mood when you go to some uh, place like Mathura. 
and then he went further like uh, say 1200 miles dwarka approx from vrindavan he started marrying queens one after the other one after the other gopis can't go there queens can't come there so this is called separation dur pravas meeting a separation the separation in braj because they have no access to krishna 24 hours he is with his cows he is with his friends but then there is separation when he went to mathura but the intense separation is when he went to dwarka and what happens when there is separation more and more remembrance without any cause without any purpose a person start crying tears coming from the eyes in remembering so much this happens in separation in union not possible you know? what to speak the past of radha krishna he all witness let's comes to gurudev when gurudev was in new braj festival or here in hawaii yeah we are in hawaii right gurudev used to come here this island also yes. four times you said yes four Eight, times four years four years you know and then hilo big island many many many, years. many many years so imagine when gurudev used to come i mean announcement is there he's going to come on this day how everyone was feeling so much excitement this call purva purva rag bhavi milan anticipating meeting oh he's coming he's going to come this day this time flight is landing everyone is so excited to see him the meeting is already there remem in remembering him yes mm. i never came to hawaii with gurudev but i'm just recalling what when shri gurudev used to come to mathura mm. after his touring all over the world he used to come back and how all brahmacharis all devotees uh, in mathura vasis sanyasis brahmacharis we are so excited that oh we know gurudev used to come on this day this time in the whole preparations start cleaning temple mm-hmm. every corner of the temple cleaning rubbing to make temple so clean and the day when gurudev wanted to uh, was arriving say let's say like sunday morning he's coming 9 o'clock everyone is so excited all night not sleeping just speaking 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 to each other gurudev used to love this he used to like this chastise all the chastisements past times of gurudev <laughs> his foodie past times of gurudev all night just speaking about him so meeting is already there right and then next morning mangal aarti whole temple is get decorated with flowers and big welcome and so much excitement just watching roadside when this car is going to come with luggage on the top <laughs> remember those days yeah and this car that car no this is not gurudev that's not gurudev that's not here he comes yeah. when the car stop by the gate all devotees so excited to see him they all want to touch him <clears throat> <coughs> everyone wants to touch him <coughs> but then brahmacharis guarding him and guru is reciprocating keeping his hand on everyone's head <laughs> someone giving flowers someone giving fruit someone this and that and flowers and donations and all that and from the top he was showering flowers <laughs> and guru used to look like this mm. <laughs> yeah. memories so nice time so this call 
love of radha krishna is far first love to guru love to guru dev is so important so much excitement this is one moment another moment is when he is leaving mathura when he is leaving the center to go preach for months and months devotee is so sad falling after him crying and weeping tears coming from the eyes every day remembering him uh, his sweet smile his way of speaking and all all those memories because gurudev was he was not serious he was reciprocating with everyone you know joking laughing giving instructions and also chastising so much there so feeling separation and in separation remembering him more and more but separation is not everything i was also saying this yesterday separation is not everything ultimate is meeting but separation is creating what excitement more and more remembrance hai na so rather than saying oh because of the will of providence we got separated there was nothing wrong there was so much love between us i know even though krishna was going to chandravali but he was only loving me the most and and there was no fault in my love also and sometimes if i was manifesting sulky mood man that was only to please krishna because he drive pleasure by specifying me that's why i was doing man not for any other reason he was decorating my hairs i used to demand krishna can you decorate my hairs krishna can you massage my feet i was demanding because i know krishna feel he drive pleasure by doing this by serving this so rather than remembering all those yeah, memories she had with krishna and when this happens in separation and she is saying there was so much love krishna used to love me the most i love krishna the most but by the will of providence we got separated will of providence who is providence here nature or the creator brahma <laughs> the providence there is yogamaya mm-hmm. ponamashi who works under guidance of krishna mm-hmm. krishna wanted like this mm-hmm. separation tour pravas years and years and years passed like 30 40 50 years passed married to queens there different in other world killing demons performing all kingly duties taking care of subjects reciprocation with so many other devotees so much to do but he never accepted to become the king of dwarka a proposal came to krishna you king of dwarka he said no i don't want to become king. then who's going to be the king he said ugrasen maharaj mm-hmm. his senior most <clears throat> elderly person he said i'm so weak i'm old man i can't i can't play the role of a king here krishna you should krishna said no you don't worry you became you become king i'm always there to help you and save you don't worry because he don't want to become king if i become king then I cannot go back to Braj, <laughs> and my mission is to go back. Sure. Baba, if you want to go back, then why you came here? <laughs> so restless to go back, to go back, to go back. Because Vrindavan is my home. Back to home. 
So back to home, back to Godhead. Shri Prabhupada used to say, right? Mm-hmm. And what Krishna is saying, back to home, back to Radha Rani. Mm. He's not happy in Dwarka with so much opulence around him. Horses, elephants, so many salutes, mm-hmm. obeisances, prestige, everything, fame, name, nothing, nothing. He's only longing to, I want to go back, I want to go back. Then why you came here then? To serve my Radha Rani. The whole mission is there to please my Radha. Please Radha, you making her cry there. She's about to leave her body. Hmm. No, she can't leave her body. Hmm. Why? Because I took her mind with me and she only have senses there. Hmm. But what it has to do with leaving body? Can't she leave body? No, she can't. Because she drank nectar. One who has drink nectar become immortal. What nectar are you speaking about? She drank the nectar of my name, mm-hmm. my pastimes, and my proximity. They are always and always speaking about my pastimes. They're remembering me. They can't leave. Because I'm carrying everyone here in my heart. Therefore, they're going to wait for me. Wait for me. Wait for me. And Radharan is there. In that state that, oh, living body. But Krishna is confident. She can't leave her body. I will go back. I will go back. So this is very, very high, great mood of Braj, where it looks like Krishna is tricky as the question came. He applying so many tricks. But Intent of all those tricks is to please Radha Rani. To have loving reciprocations with Radha Rani alone. That's the only mission of Krishna to come here from his eternal abode Golag Vrindavan to this planet Earth. This is our meditation. But it starts from developing love for Guru. Tasmar Guru Prapadet Jagyasu She Uttamam Shabde Parachandishnatam Brahm Nepashyamasha. Bhagavatam says it comes with the association of Guru who is lighting that fire in the heart of Braj Bhakti. That Guru. Otherwise, we have so many teachers, a trainer, but trainer and teacher is not guru. They are teaching us how to drive car, how to do cooking. They are teachers, they are trainers, they are not gurus. I was in flight and Prabhu was my friend, he was with me and he was asking how you came to Krishna consciousness Then I was telling my cousin brought me. So, he's, he's a kind of guru, Pat Pradasha Guru, means he showed me this path. And I came in Krishna consciousness because he brought me to temple. He's a, he's a, he's a kind of guru. Respect for him. But who is going to be my ultimate guru? That guru who lit that fire in the heart and who is making me understand 
every day what is the goal of your life and where we have to go to develop that greed in the heart of ragunuga bhakti to develop the greed to serve radha krishna and braj because that's ultimate that's ultimate that's ultimate there's nothing beyond that one who can make me understand the glories of radha rani the superiority of radha rani the love of radha rani over krishna that is guru then so surrender without delay mm-hmm. shastra saying and qualities are shabde parachanishnatam he should be fluent in all the shastras he should be fluent in all the scriptures and siddhantas and ras vichar but even that is not enough he also have to be renounced both things goes together renounce so by association of these kind of devotees gurus and vaishnavas we can develop a special moods for braj bhakti a special mood for uh, surrendering to radha rani to become what palya dasi of radha rani the maid servant of radha rani that's ultimate even krishna is submissive to the palya dasis of radha rani holding hands krishna who is the lord of the lords is begging to them please allow me to go to the kunja want to see radha rani mm-hmm. no she is very upset she don't want to see any black any black and you are black from inside outside <laughs> you can't go it's there <laughs> krishna is begging to them these are the the glories and the strength of becoming the maid servant of radha rani you know so what is our aspiration to become das anudas the servant of the servants of our acharyas des gaudiya vishnus gaur premanande shri shri radha govind ji ki shri radha madhav ji ki and their beautiful pastimes ki and their beautiful union ki and their also beautiful separation ki <laughs> all brajwasis ki shila guru dev ki hitai gaur premanande thank you so much shivaji ji chiranjeev prabhu vishnu dayanidhi prabhu for inviting me here hosting me here taking care of me here with so much of affection and love mm-hmm. thank you so much hare krishna mm-hmm. ahola mm-hmm. aloha aloha right aloha in the last mahala mahalo mahalo i have to learn this hawaiian language <laughs> yeah but the local language is difficult ho 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 you know this I, 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 I can speak the Hawaiian language. Oh, you can? Yeah, I know. Oh, can you say how are you? Peha uh, hoi. Peha hoi. Peha hoi. How was my lecture? Oh, my kailoa. Very good. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay. Hare Krishna. Shri Radha Rani Ki. I was thinking to read, but my page remained open. <laughs> It was such a beautiful thing. I was, I just sat here. I was reading something. A page was so beautiful, description of Braj Bhakti. But I don't know. I got absorbed somewhere. Great <laughs> history. Thank you. So, so amazing. Tomorrow again. What's the Temple program? of Peace is temple tomorrow at six p.m. Tomorrow Temple of Peace. Wow. Morning walk. <laughs> morning walk. Seven fifteen. Baldwin Park. If the weather is okay. Um, and then uh, maybe we'll see. I don't know what everybody's schedule is for the morning kata after. Okay. Peace. So tomorrow, same time, five thirty, Temple of Peace. Six. Six, Six o'clock, Six. Temple of Peace. T O P. And what is peace? <laughs> what is peace? I told last time. Acronym. Acronym. Um, Acronym. Please, please, everybody, please accept. Always, please. yeah.
Chan. Every day. Oh, enthusiastically. Enthusiastically. Oh. Thank you. Thank you.